Good morning and welcome back to another episode of In Isolation in North Germany. Today we have been challenged by Thomas Heaton. Mr. Greg Snell, the monkey challenges you to do macro photography in your pajamas. All right, challenge set. To a macro photography challenge. So I accept your your challenge, T Fuego, and this is macro telephoto photography in the garden. Found my first composition. I think it looks really, really nice. I've got the settings at f2.8, of course, because I want that really sexy bokeh. And then I've got ISO 100 because it's pretty damn bright outside. And I'm not using any filters, not using polarizers. So my shutter speed is one over 800, which is so high that I probably don't even need the tripod. I could shoot that handheld, but I've taken off the IS stabilizer that's built into this lens and I'm shooting in manual focus. So it actually helps in this case to have the tripod to make sure with a two second timer that I'm getting the sharpest image possible and I think we've got a really really nice one so let's take a look at the back of the camera and our first macro image in the garden <laughs> The next tip for macro photography with the telephoto in the garden is to get on the same level as your subject. So there's these beautiful little blue flowers. I have no idea what they're called. They might even be purple. You can tell me in the comments below. But I'm going to get right down low on the ground to set up my shot. And this time we're going handheld because I can't get my tripod as low as I want to be. I might even be able to set this up on the ground if I get the, uh, the right composition. So that's the next tip is to level out with your subject, which is also a pro tip for wildlife photography. So yes, let's get on the ground and see if we can get our second composition on a nice macro image here. found my my second composition here I'm uh, using the ground to stabilize the camera and just trying to push it into this little mound of like sand and dirt so that it stays uh, stable and then once I'm happy with the composition I'll set a 10 second timer and also one thing you can do when uh, finding your focus point in manual is zoom in with your camera so that you can uh, make sure that you're getting that minute, minute focus because of this uh, focal length of 2.8, it can really change on like a millimeter. So that's really important. And once you've got that, just press the shutter, wait 10 seconds and should have a, a nice image. composition I have set up the tripod in a way that you may not have seen it before this uh, certain Benro tripod the center column doesn't allow me to get super low to the ground so I've flipped it upside down which I don't do very often but in this case it works really really well for our third macro composition but before I dig into that I want to give a huge shout out to Martin Oskai I believe that's how I pronounce your name uh, Martin is from Hungary and he was uh, entered into the free giveaway contest to win this sweet branded chamois cloth I've got about 30 of them and I've given away almost 10 in total uh, so if you want to be part of that be sure to sign up to the newsletter below because that's where I send exclusive video updates and uh, connect with you guys right like 101 right in the email so be sure to uh, subscribe to that newsletter now back to the photography the macro garden photography this is our third uh, subject and our third composition and the trick with this one is to try and find a contrasting color or a color that benefits your main subject as the background because at 200 millimeters with the 2.8 aperture you're going to get some sweet bokeh and it's really important that you've got a contrasting color or something that accentuates and highlights your main subject so for this one we've got these beautiful purple flowers again i have no idea what they're called so if you know the name of the flower put it in the description and uh yeah nice background let's get our shot I 
highly recommend one day trying to operate your camera upside down. It's extremely difficult and a very good test on how well you know where your settings are. So I think we've got a really nice composition here. I'm just gonna record a little bit of that and then switch back to camera mode. Still got my 10 second timer on. I'm at 200 millimeters, f2.8, manual focus, stabilizers off. Man, it's so hard to nail this focus. Really, I'm gonna try and zoom in again. I'm at 10 times zoom at 200. And when you change the manual focus, it is like on a millimeter. It's just on a dime. You gotta be really careful that you've got that. I can see a bit of camera shake happening when I'm zoomed in at 10 times to get that manual focus perfectly nailed down. That's another reason why I'm on the tripod at a 10 second timer to just make sure that we got that crisp and super sharp image, even though I'm at one over 800, which is a super high shutter. But when it's this bright out and I'm shooting 2.8, um, that's what we're at. That's what I'm getting for the proper exposure. So take one more here. Our fourth composition is so tight. A little teeny tiny piece of water, little droplet perfectly placed by Nelly Winter, who also has a onesie, but she's, she's a little too embarrassed to show it on camera. But if you comment below, maybe she'll make another video with her onesie on. All right, back to the seriousness. So I've set the Canon EOS R into video mode and I'm shooting at 4K. And the 4K on this, uh, this first version of the Canon mirrorless has a crop on it, the crop factor, which uh, when I first got it, I wasn't too happy about. But the more I use it, especially with the 7200, the happier I am with this feature because I can really get a really close detailed video shot of this little droplet of water that Nelly's placed on our uh, on our subject and it looks really cool and it's a good example to show you when you change the manual focus and apologies for the shakiness here but you just change the manual focus by like half a millimeter and you can see how quickly it changes it's really important to nail the focus on your subject there so when you take the photograph you know you've got that that really minimal manual uh, macro focus even though this isn't a macro lens and I don't have extenders it's still possible to get macro details with the telephoto and, uh, and I challenge you to do the same and what do you think of this uh, this final image And now it's time to challenge you, just like Tifuego challenged me, to a macro photography photo shoot in and around your house while you're self-isolating and social distancing does not mean that you can't still be creative and have fun while you're doing it. So I'm looking forward to seeing your images and your macro photography and uh, be sure to have that conversation down below in the comments. And that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you like it and I'll see you on the next one, goodbye.